Hello and welcome. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and today on Fluke Fridays episode number 72 what we're going to talk about is the wire tracers. We've talked about these before from Ampro but specifically today we're going to talk about this induction clamp and how it works. Can it actually do its job? That's the question. I got challenged by a co-worker that uh, it's difficult to use these things so I said Let's take that challenge. Let's see if we can make it work at my house and figure out if there's any tips and tricks from my experience working with it. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go on a journey. Um, I'm here in the basement. We're going to hook this up. We're going to induce a signal uh, in my breaker panel and we'll, through the um, hooking the clamp, the end of the clamp up to the transmitter. We're going to clamp over a line coming out of one of the breakers and then we're going to take the receiver and we're going to go to the other end and we're going to figure out which um, we're going to map the breaker so we're going to figure out which outlets go to that breaker with only one connection instead of having to move from place to place it's not an easy task necessarily but it can be done and i think i figured out a few tips today so i hope that you guys really enjoy this come on my journey with me and let's hook this thing up okay step one we're going to take our induction clamp it doesn't matter which way we put it and we're going to clamp over the breaker circuit that we care about. I'm going to go over my second from the bottom, number 21, three. Kind of got to get it in there, clamp like that. Then you're going to take the other end of your clamp, these two guys. We're going to plug into the, the top of our transmitter. This should be pretty easy so far. Turn it on. And with the induction signal, we want to do that side. Okay, hold that down for two seconds. That'll be your induction signal. And we should be good to go. We're transmitting. We want to double check that. We can turn this on, make sure we're getting a signal. And we are, so we're good to go. Okay, I'm upstairs. I did figure out one gotcha moment already um, on the transmitter, how I held it down for two seconds. When you're in wire mapping mode, don't do that. Just put it in high mode. I'll show that again at the end of the video. Um, when I was in that high end, holding it down for two seconds, transmitting mode, I think that's only for de-energized loops. And so on these circuits, it just didn't work. Regardless, I couldn't get anything before, but now I can. Now you can see, you can get a little bit by just holding it up. That's, this is one that's on our circuit. Sometimes though, I'll show you later, I can't get much of a signal on something I know is on the circuit. So I suggest using either the accessory that comes with it or have something like this, plug it in, and then you can hold up your wire real close to it and get your signal. So we know that this one is on a circuit um, that were clamped on that breaker downstairs. Let's go to the next outlet. This one, on the other hand, is breaker 25 and you see no signal with it in this and I see no signal on the faceplate. I'm gonna do a couple more a GFCI and a couple others and show you these outlets. Okay this one with just the faceplate if I get it just right at the top here sometimes oh right there I can get a signal but typically it's really hard for me to get a signal on this again if I plug it in with this cord bring these signals out to us and then get a stronger signal. It's easier for me to do. So I would definitely recommend using either the plug that comes with it and a test lead to bring it out or something like this. Okay, here's another GFCI outlet. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a signal about this. Use this accessory. A little bit easier, more consistent. Not a whole lot, not a super strong signal, but you're still getting a consistent signal. Okay. Next outlet, still on the circuit. See that signal there? Plug in our accessory. Very strong signal. Let me see if I can get that screen to show up a little bit better for us. There we go. Okay, and I'll do one more that's not on the circuit, just so you guys can see. Here's one not on the circuit. 
Again, nothing at the faceplate. Nothing here. Uh, one thing I don't know that I mentioned at the beginning is I did turn the sensitivity all the way up. If you're in the middle, you're very likely not going to get anything. You turn up the sensitivity by this plus arrow down here, turn that sucker all the way up. And I should also mention what mode I'm in. I'm in the second one down right here to do this. You could probably be on this mode. I haven't tried it on this mode. Let me try. Obviously, you're not going to see anything on this one because this is not a good one. Let me go back to one that I do have. Oops. Need a red cord. There you go. You could use that mode too if you just want to look for that green. Turn the sensitivity up and you could just either you have it or you don't. Let's see what it looks like on the outlet. Yeah. So that might be a better mode actually. But I was using this mode for most of it. Again, either way, the sensitivity needs to be all the way up. I'm going to recap in the basement and show you that um, transmitter one more time so you guys know what I messed up when I started. Okay, so as we talked about, this is what I messed up when we started. I turned it on, and then I held the high down for two seconds. And there's times in the user manual it says to do that, but it's not this time. So you just want it to be on high, just like this, um, not this circle one, or I couldn't get it to work. Now, what were we looking at to figure out how to do this today? It is 4.13 in the user manual. And this is what we were doing. We clamped on. And then we were finding all of the outlets with the transmitter. And it worked really well. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure it out, but I liked it. This is the one that I was talking about. If you're just trying to find a, a wire, just trace a wire on the ground, basically. That's not uh, in a loop. That's where it says to hold it down for two seconds. So anyways, I hope this is helpful. This was a learning experience for me. I have more confidence with this little clamp than I did before today. And yeah, you guys should give it a try if, if that will work in your application or work best for you guys. Don't be afraid of it. Give it a whirl. If you like this, if this was instructional, give us a thumbs up. If you watch more than three videos, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Have a good weekend.